I just want to say thank you, all you beautiful people out there tonight. God bless you all. Thank you so much for joining. I want to start off by letting you know you guys are so blessed. Now, I'm going to try to say this without tear eyeing and start crying. I'm going to try my best. This softer, loving, more caring kind of guy because I know I come at you real hard. So I'm going to let Mr. Nelson do that this year. I'm going to be a little more loving and sharing. You know, I got up this morning, uh, did my walk early like I normally do. And Saturday, I, I, I uh, decided to go to the church and, you know, we, we handed out uh, about 350 people who don't have food and uh, lying, lying around four blocks, make a left down the block, another six. And when I pulled up, I just started crying and thanking God for just being able to be in who I am and the blessings that we don't have to do this. And as people pull up to the car, I prayed for them a little bit and I gave them food and mask and 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 you know how many people are living in their cars these days we're so blessed so last year our our church fed 175,000 families and um one in five in vegas is is needing a food and one children out of children one in three and i'm going to go next sunday saturday again and we'll take a bunch of people and my son's going my son's like day i want to go and we're so blessed so i just want to start off by this leadership call tonight to let you know, no matter how bad you think you have it, you are so blessed and you're so blessed to be where you're at. Now, the blessing is to be able to give back. So tonight I'm gonna talk about something that I don't normally talk about. I'm gonna talk about money. I've never done this before. I told you this is gonna be a different year for me. And I hope you guys understand because without money, your world doesn't go around. Your world stops, your world's living in a car. I counted 23 cars that had kids in it and they actually lived in the car. I see people pull up in brand new trucks and uh, you're so blessed, you're blessed. So now let's talk about being a giving, to giving back, giving back. Matter of fact, before I get started, I wanna thank, uh, I wanna say this about last night's call, a happy hour. I wanna thank Ms. Pat Robinson for our questions, Mr. Brian Lewis for the question. And their questions moved me so much that I asked tomorrow, Mr. and Mrs. King, teach on how to taproot. And I know that was some questions some of you had about taprooting. And my spirit was so blessed by that that I asked Mr. King and Ms. King, could they teach that tomorrow night at the same time, right here at six o'clock on the insights of taprooting. Mr. King showed you a list of people he got from a gentleman who decided not to do any taprooting. So tomorrow night, please do not miss tomorrow night. We're in a brand new year. I'm telling you, half the year is just about half this month's almost gone. I want we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go to a lot of stuff that you need help with to ex explode your business. So, first of all, I'd like to say good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for that, Miss Kathy Williams. It's good seeing you, dear. God bless you, Mr. Payon in Japan. Thank you so much, Mr. Mar Marcia Carter. Thank you, Mr. Al Randolph in Oakland. Thank you, sir, Miss Marcia Carter. Thank you, Freddie Sherman. Thank you, Miss Caroline Baker. Thank you. Rose Guerrero and Chris King, I couldn't do what I do without you guys. You guys are, are an amazing couple. What a powerhouse. Can we give them a hand? They're such a powerhouse. They're such a powerhouse. Love those guys. They're just, man, just troopers. I love them. Gail Wiggins, thank you so much, dear. Mr. Daryl Ranson, thank you. Miss Ursula Allen, stay stay faithful. I love you, dear. You're doing a great job. Chris, uh, Chris McDowell, good, good evening, sir. Always on the call. Thank you, Pat Robinson. I gave you a shout out earlier. Thank you for your, let me look at her. Thank you for where is she at. Thank you, where is she at? I gotta find her on here. Thank you for your questions yesterday. There you go. So thank you, dear, I, I, I yeah, thank you. Sensational in Florida, where is she at? I gotta see that girl's glasses. I gotta see her, go oh, there she is, all right. Mr. Tim Carrard, what, are, what books are you holding up there? Mr. Tim Carrard, Building an Empire, Gold Pro. Look, he's got all the books. Look at this, Untrap, look at this guy. Look at this, look at this, the edge, slight edge. You go, you go, sir. All right. You, I expect you to be RD by the end of the month. <laughs> all right. Regional Director, Mr. Uh, Julian Lewis, man, thank you for all your blessings, your knowledge, your teachings, your insight, your expertise, and the beautiful daughter that you're raising up 14 years old, uh, 15. She's gorgeous. Thank you, sir. Miss, uh, Miss Konohara over Japan, thank you for all you do. And also, she takes our calls and translate it into Japanese to bless more people. Do you realize this is kind of a ministry? Oh my goodness, let me shut up. Hey, I wanna thank Corey Alexander, sir. Thank you so much out there in Fresno. I tinko over in Japan, thank you for joining there. Thank you, Marie, thank you. Miss Ingra over in Australia, the regional director out there. Oh, where is she at with her beautiful self? 
She is always, where is she at? I got to find her. Oh, there she is. Hey, dear. How you doing? All right. We got Miss Diane Collins over in Australia. Look at all the Australian girls showing up tonight. Hey, I love it. I'll tell you, those Aussies are something else. Uh, uh, Celia in Woodland, California. Kaz, where is she at in Australia? Regional director. There she Oh, that's a good, black's a good color. Black's one of your colors, girl. You go. <laughs> Mr. Bill Howard, good evening so much. Sam Foster, we had a great, great time on Wednesday at 7 or 8. One of the business. Congratulations, sir. Miss Christina, good morning. Good evening. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Marvin Carter, regional director of Fresno. Thank you, sir. Man, you are amazing. Keep up the good work and keep on helping people. Keep on being a blessing. Miss Natasha Ismail, regional director. My that that lady is amazing. That superstar. Thank you so much. For all you've done, and you know you're special to me in my life. You and your hubby are great. Love you guys. Eileen, thank you so much in San Diego. Dee Dee Sanders, keep on going. I love to see when I see you on there. And Miss Angelina Corona over in Fresno. Well, good evening. Good evening. So tomorrow night, the Kings are going to be talking about how to tap root. How to tap root. You guys don't want to miss that. We're, look, I tell you, I've, I've called a couple of leaders in my organization. I said, you guys are missing so much good stuff. This year is not like last year. I'm going to say it again. This year is not like last year. This year, we're going to get into the trenches. You know, kind of highlight before I go into my training tonight, I highlighted. If you're brand new, remember what I talked about on Thursday. If you're brand new, you need to get one or two checks a month. One or two checks. One or two checks. If you're an ETL, you need one or two checks every month, minimum. One or two checks in your mailbox and your bank account every month. If you're a regional director, you need to have, what, three or four. How many times we get paid a month? Five. As an RD, you should get three to four checks every month. All right? I'm not, whatever it may be. If you're a regional vice president hire, we should all qualify for five. That means once one, one a week plus the residual, that's five, okay? So just a way to measure yourself, forget the title, just a way to measure yourself. Now, I'm going, and, and I talked about what is your stumbling block on Thursday. I, I called that other guy, said, look, you gotta go here because I, I gotta, my spirit, I'm going, I'm, I'm led, I'm led, I'm led, I'm led, I'm led. Okay, tonight, are you guys ready? Say I'm ready. I saw Maurice, said, I'm ready, I've been ready. <laughs> As she looks over her glasses. All right, tonight I'm gonna talk about, write this down, the four types of wealth, the four types of wealth, the four types of wealth. So I'm gonna be talking about a little bit more money this year. I'm gonna be. Now it says, uh, hold it right there, Mr. Clemens. It says the four types of wealth, and you also see the word, what else you see in the word? What, you see something else? You see wealth? What else do you see? Put in the type, tap in the chat. What do you see? Wealth, what else do you see? Wealth and what? What other word do you see? Health. There you go. Health and wealth goes hand in hand. hand there you go. Now, let me let me back up here. Remember last week? Remember, remember Saturday? Saturday when I trained last week, it was powerful. I, I gave you my daily DMO, and I talked about I get up and I walk twice a day. I gave you that. You can't have money. See, a lot of people have money, but they have no health. I'd rather have the health and my health is good, I go get the wealth. So you guys need to be, you know, a lot of you think, well, man, I'm home, I can't get out. No, you exercise in home. I was telling a friend of mine, you know, have your mother go up and down the stairs, go up and down the stairs, go up and down the stairs, you know, because, you know, go up and down the stairs, go up and down the stairs 25 times a day. It's what I'm leaving their house. You stay healthy that way. You know, as, as I get older, I, I'm always going to have a two-story a two home. Most older people, when they get old, they want a one story. No, I want to be able to go up and down stairs. Why? To keep my health going. If I can keep my health going, I can build wealth. But let me tell you something. Without, without health, you can't have wealth. I'm going to say that one more time. Without health, you cannot have wealth. I'm going to say it one more time. Without health, you cannot have wealth. And that's why I encourage people, the older you get, the more you should work out. I go two walks a day, two walks a day. Why? Because I'm concerned. I want to have, as I get older, I want to grow in grace. Write that down. Grow in grace. Grow in grace. Not, oh, my back's out. Oh, man, I got a buddy of mine. I'm trying to get him to go walk with me. He, he didn't put on so much weight. It's like, Lord, have mercy. I don't know if he get out his front door. And I keep telling him, man, that's why your health is going bad, because you're not, work, you're not doing anything but sitting on the couch. So four types of wealth. Now, I'm going to talk, like I say, I'm going to talk a lot. This go, tonight, listen up now, listen up. I hope y'all are ready for it. Get your seatbelts because I'm going to go into a lot of stuff this year I've never gone into in my life on for ACN, maybe, you know, 
but I think you guys need to hear it because it's, it's got, I got to prepare you for what's coming. Now, there's four types of wealth. The first type of wealth, here we go. And oh, by the way, this is going to be a two-part series. Tonight's going to be part one. Next week is going to be part two. Everybody with me? Part one tonight, part two. So I'm going to go to four types of wealth, okay? N number one, Mr. Free Clemens, number one. Number one, number one, number one, number one, number one. Mm. Financial wealth, money, 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 money. Now, let me break this down. Money, money, people say money is a root of all evil. No, no, it said the love, L-O-V, the love of money is a root. Get the story right. There's nothing wrong with having money. If you don't have money, you'll be like the 23 cars I passed today with people living in it because they have no financial wealth. Are y'all with me? Now, I taught this before, but I'm going to break it down. Now, in money, there's four types of money. Now, before I give you the four types of money, let's see how many of you have been paying attention in the past. What are the four types of money? Just put in the chat, if you remember, what are the four types of money? Let's see if y'all can remember. Let's see if some of y'all remember. Put in the chat, what are the, what's, give me one of the four types of money. Survival, okay, Mr. Tim Carrod, okay, good sir. Uh, pass, oh, Mr. Tim Carrod got, got again, investment money. Number three, okay. Who else got the other two? The other two, what types of money are there? I got to get y'all ready for 2021 and beyond. Spiritual? No, 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 no. Oh, Mr. Tim Carrot, he must have got his notes out. See, that shows me he got his notes out. F you money. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, I got one more money, one more type of money, one more type of money. Let's see if y'all got it. I'll give you about 15 seconds to come up with the third, the fourth type of money. There's four types of money. Five seconds left, four seconds, three, two, one. Here we go. The first type of money is survival money. That's the lowest level of money. Today, as I was servicing those 350 people, they were in survival mode. They're, they rock bottom. They barely scraped enough to get it in gas. And some came in new vehicles. That blew me away. But here again, that's that stimulus check they got, that extra retirement, whatever. But that survived, they were in survival mode. They came to get all the food because they were surviving. They barely were getting by. They were scraping by. I mean, barely, barely, barely getting by. That's none of y'all on it. They're barely getting by. That's survival money. That means you have enough change in your pocket. That's all you got in your whole life. So that's called survival money. When I pulled up to the church today and saw those 350 some people come through there, survival, survival. And God bless you. None of y'all are there. God bless you. You're not there. So that's the first type of money when it comes to financial wealth. The second type of money, which nobody got, is called everyday money. Everyday money. That's your pocket money you got in your pocket. You run around, you got your, some of y'all use credit cards. Now, I, I, I like cash. I, and you'll never catch me with change in my pocket. You never will catch me. I always carry a minimum of a hundred dollar bill. I don't care. No, no. See, some of y'all, they rob you, they be practicing. Can we <laughs> can we be honest? If some of y'all got robbed, you be practicing. You know, all you got all these credit cards all to the limit. But carry some cash. See, that's everyday money. Y'all been to increase credit cards and no, no, no. Then you pay the minimum bill and now all of a sudden you charge. You realize most people when they charge them on a credit card it takes them like eight to 10, 12 months to pay it off. You didn't pay for that thing five times over and you wonder why, not you, but most people are broke. I pay mine off every month. I, they Look, it's called OPM, other people's money. I got cards, all my cards are black cards. And you know what? I pay them off every month. That's why they're black cards because they know this guy's worth it. It's I, 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 Maybe I'll teach something on seminar on, on that later, but but everyday money. Let's go back to what I'm trying to get to. As I can go off in the black sky, but you know, on, on, on that part of it. But everyday money, everyday money, it's your pocket money, your pocket money. Girls, you remember some of y'all 40, 50, y'all, you know, remember mom say, hey, carry, carry mad money in case he goes crazy. You know, it's your mad money. <laughs> you, carry, you carry money. See, not everybody takes credit cards. So why y'all see, see, see how they sold that to you? Man, I got both. And I got just as much, you know, I used to carry a lot of cash with me. And then my CPA said, why don't you get a credit card? But one for, watch this, watch this. One for business. Here's, I'm dropping. A, I'm dropping a lug. One for business and one for personal. 
okay, I just said something right there. So I got one for business, one for personal, but I still carry a chunk with me because, you know, Red Skelton, y'all don't know who he is. He died years ago, but Red Skelton used to carry $25,000 on him at all times because he lived through the recession. And his little pinky ring was worth 25 grand. So if he ever, ran, if he ever got caught, he'd always have something to trade his trade in. So if I caught you guys out in the, in the dark alley, how much would I get from you? Would it be an IOU, <laughs> a credit card maxed out, or would I be robbing you? If I rob you, would I be practicing? Because you ain't got no cash on. You're scared to see why, why, why not? You know, you can break down somewhere in the middle of the night. A cat, a guy, I've been in small towns and, and, and had problems in the middle of the night. Guys said, man, we don't take credit cards after nine, which is all cash. Y'all messed up. Start carrying cash. See, why you don't carry cash? You know why you're scared? You know, let me tell you why most of you don't carry. Not you guys, but most people in America and uh, Australia and New Zealand and Japan don't carry cash because they think, I may spend it. Or, you know, more than that, I may lose it. You ain't lost no money yet. <laughs> but see, that's the characteristic of a 95 percenter. Five percent of my care budget, I don't. But it gives me, I go either or. I go either or, credit card or cash. You guys, just one thing, credit card. So you see the difference? Never mind. Let me let me get off that one because that I could come back and do a whole night on just on just that. And maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll talk about business cards. Maybe I'll talk about lines. Maybe I have to come back and train y'all. Because here again, I apologize. I humbly I thought you guys knew this. First kind of money is survival. Don't ever forget it. And you prayed that you would never have to get in that mode of number one, survival money. Number two is everyday money. That's called pocket money pocket money some y'all call it credit card money a pocket credit card money whatever but pocket money carry cash with you cash is not trash carry it around number three mr tim you got that one too investment see if you have survival money you're just getting along you ain't got time to, to have everyday money once you get everyday money you start saving it and then you start investing it start investing it some people live paycheck to paycheck, not you, not after this year. You should never live paycheck to paycheck. You should have excess capital put to a side. When you got involved with ACN, that was an investment money. That wasn't your everyday money. That was survival. You were past survival money. You had everyday money to handle. You got your bills covered. So you want your bills to cover that, you're good. Now you had a little extra for, hey, investment money. Some of you people talk to people. I don't have any money, Mr. Thomas. Give me about 30 days. Give me two weeks. They had to raise the money after they paid the bills to invest in their business. And you, as a leader in ACN, you got to continue investing into your business. Mr. Bree Clemens got these out. Now, watch this. He took it upon himself. Look, this is a 20, 2021 journal. Look at, look at your name. Look at that. Monthly planner for the year 2020, the year before, the year after. And, and, and it's got a little schedule in here with the dates are of the year. And then he's got the planner. And then, oh, I'm sorry. The back page has got, got stuff. Up. I mean, this thing is amazing for $12, $10. And, and then, it, then you get the journal. It says Destiny International. And it's a journal. I'd say get for 10 bucks shipped to you, I'd have, 10, if I, I'd have six or 10 of these or 12. Because this is how you journal stuff. And I've talked about that so many times. And some of you still don't journal. Look, Miss Kathleen Williams, she got her journal up. She got a pen in hand. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, this is important. For $10, get hold of Mr. Bree Clemens because he just sent me, they, they just came out, just came out. I, I got a couple of them. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm ready. I'm ready. Now, once you have investment, that's back to your business. Ms. Natasha Ismail called me. Mr. Thomas, you still got magazines? Oh, hey, I ordered them. Send them to her. Hey, GoPro, send them. Why? I'm investing back in my business. Can, can I tell you how many, I, I can't really tell you because I don't know how many GoPros I gave away in the last year and a half, two years. But every new person, GoPro. And I autograph it. I highlight page 102, 103, and 104. Why? I'm investing back in that new IBO. I'm investing back in that new person. I'm investing back. Well, Mr. Thomas, what if you don't get the money back? What if they don't do nothing? That's okay. For everyone that don't, I got three or four that has. But you got to invest back in your business. Being on this conference call, on the Zoom call, is investing back in your business. Every day I do something. I've been only asked me to do something six days. I'm investing back in your business. You're here to learn what you need to do by journalizing in the Destiny International Journal, and now you can regurgitate what you've learned. Because like I said before, I can go up here and look all my appointment books. You can say, Mr. Thomas, where were you 2001 on July 4th or no, July 12th? I can tell you what time. Because why? I journalized everything. 
Have you noticed Jim Rohn talk about journalizing everything? So if he talks about it, I talk about it. Why have you? Oh, Lord, let me be quiet. I'm trying to be a nicer guy this year. Mm -hmm. So invest back in your business. Some of y'all, I can't wait to get paid, man. I got a new IBO and he going to make me all out and she going to make me. Oh, my God. When I hear that, I'm like, oh, my, you ain't going to be here long because you're so busy worrying about you. Let me tell you something about Chris King and Miss Rose Guerrero. I have seen them timeless, timeless, timeless give back to people. I've seen Natasha is a timeless time with Julian Lewis, timeless, timeless, give back to people. Giving back, giving back is so doggone important. It's so doggone important. I've talked to Miss Diane Collins, bam, bam, she went from 175 customers. She's a few from 200. And because of her faithfulness, oh my God, on this call, now she's got Miss Ingram on and Miss Kaz on. Girl, let me tell you about this call Miss Thomas doing. And all of a sudden, more Australians, it's amazing, more Australians are on here than some people in other countries. And then all of a sudden, Ms. Kanko come on and hurt her husband and also Tudor, she's on. And also now Japan is catching it. Matter of fact, it's so great that now, Ms. Thomas, will you come please? I love, will you please do the call for us for Japan's regional, the whole island of Japan in four different times? I was like, my God. But that's a blessing because when people get blessed from what you give, they want to be a part of it. Write that down. They want to be a part of what you're doing if they're gaining. Like I said, everything should be a gain. Why I go to church? The gain. Why are we getting involved with ACN? The gain. Everything should be a profit for you. Everything should be a gaining. Why do I listen to tapes? The gain. Why do I go back and listen to these leaders? To gain. Why on yesterday I gurgitated the whole week with every leader that said, to gain. I'm still learning from them. Man, Mr. Julian Lewis on Tuesday was phenomenal. Last Tuesday was more phenomenal. He had the shirt on. I mean, because I'm learning. I Look, strike this down. This is powerful right here. This is right here is a nugget. School, write this down. School is never, hallelujah, never out for the professional. Mr. Bill Howard, I love Mr. Howard. He was there listening intensely. Yeah, school is never out for the professional. The day you think you know it all, Mr. Dale Rance, is the day you start dying. Man, I'm always learning. Man, I pulled to the church, my pastor's wife, I started crying like a, like a baby today. And I said to her, I said, man, I am so blessed. There you go, Mr. Bill Bailey. Think and grow rich. And it say work hard. It said think and grow rich. It say work hard. It said think. And most people use it here for a hat rack, Mr. Marvin Carter. They use it for a hat rack, Miss Christina. They're not thinking. So invest back into your business. Lord have mercy. I fly here. I fly there. I don't ask nobody to pay for nothing. I don't ask nobody to pay for my airfare. I don't ask nobody to pay for my hotel. When I was flying, why? Because I'm investing. Oh my God. I'm investing back in my people. Now we ain't got to fly nowhere. So let me take that budget, go buy some what, get some what, get some what, get some Apple Watches. Hello, give and give and give. Hey, get some GoPro and send out to every new person. Why? I'm a giver, I'm a giver, I'm a giver, I'm a giver, I'm a giver. Look at me, everybody look at me. With a closed fish, you can't give or receive. But the more you give, the more you can receive. Don't you get it? My God, that's a principle. That's a law of, principle. That's a law of reciprocity right there. And most people take, 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 take. I got a friend. Every time I go somewhere, I say, man, what are you bringing over? What are you bringing over people? Bring something. I don't care if it's a toothpick. You don't go to nobody's house empty-handed. Many times, I'm going to tell you something personal. I go down to the king's house, and Mr. King can burn. Man, that boy could do a tri-tip that nobody, I mean, man, if ACN ever went down, I'm, we, him and I go into business. We're going to sell tri-tip. And I tell you what, I go down there. I like to give him some money just to help out. He never asked. He never asked for anybody to give anything. And I feel guilty. Man, it's just like, you know, the old days when you go to somebody's house, you bring something. I can't believe it on the holiday. People, bring, they come to eat your food up, don't bring, and they bring a container to go. Right, Mr. Dave Colbert, the professor? They bring, take a container to go, and they brought a jack to your house. Got a container. Look at Miss Ingram over in Australia, over in Australia laughing. They bring a container to your house and you ain't brought not even a toothpick. You joker, get out of here. So you got to invest back in your business. Miss Ursula Allen, you got to invest back into your business. So don't be cheap. Invest back into your business. All right. So number three, Mr. Sam Foster, is investment money. Some of you, are, like Mr. Mills, he brought himself in, he brought his wife in. He's investing back in his business, Mr. Ed Navarro. See, the reason why people have to take a second and third job because they're not investing back in their people. 
the night is passing back. Mr. Tim Carrard sent me that T-shirt. I love my original income. Is he investing back in his business? Yes, he is. He's investing back in his upline. And I talk about it. Somewhere. Where can I get a T-shirt? See, that's what I'm talking about. Mr. Bree Clemens, is he investing back in not only his business, but also you all? It's not that bad, folks. We're not talking. Here's what happened. A whole lot. Let me take this. Let me take. Let me take. We're so busy taking, we can't give. My agent called me a little while ago. Said, "Al, guess what? Said, man, you, you, you got this." I, I said, "I know. I'm a. Ble I'm blessed. I'm always blessed because I was. I'm always blessing people. I'm always blessing people. There's no reason. They need, let me tell you something, Stan. The reason why I'm so blessed, Miss Pastor Robinson." Because I love people and, and I give. I'm a giver. I'm a giver. I'm a giver. I'm a giver. And if you owe somebody something, don't run from it. Call them. Tell them, hey, listen, I'm sorry. But let pe people, owe, they understand it. But 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 you, but you got to be that kind of person in 2021. You got to be a loving, giving person in 2021. And I'm going to tell you something. You're going to find more people to be attracted to you. Like that little black book say, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Okay, so investment. Now, let's move on. Now, the fourth kind of money, ho, 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 is F you money. Oh, my God. Woo. No, it ain't what you're thinking. It ain't what you're, no, 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 no. When I said that, no, no, Miss Christina, no, no, what would you think? No, 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 no. F, no, 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 since the station was what you're thinking when I said F you money. No, 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 no. It means fun unlimited. <laughs> fun unlimited, Marie. She, Marie's over there laughing at me now. Fun unlimited, fun unlimited. Yeah, that's when you have excess money. 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 I've written my church checks I can't even tell you about because excess money. And the one why I'm so blessed, I'm telling you, I am t I'm stretching you. This is stuff that you don't see the normal on these normal calls. Because this year, I'm taking y'all in a different direction I ever went before. ACM World goes like this. I'm going tonight. But excess money. Unlimited. Fun unlimited. FU is fun unlimited. It means all your investments are going great. You got excess money coming in. All your bills are paid. You're stacking it up. We call it stacking. You start stacking. You start stacking. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, look at sensation in Florida. Lord, have you start stacking it. And as you stack it, you can be a blessing. You can be a giver. You can help people. See, all money does, write this down. Write this down. All money does, write this down. Y'all get more than I do. Don't bargain for it. All money does is expose you. Write that down. All money does expose. I'm going to talk about money a lot this year, too, because y'all need to get some of this stuff. It ain't cold. It ain't no. No, it's not cold, it's warm. Let me tell you about the cold. It, it's called cold. No, it ain't cold, it's warm. And let me tell you something else. It matches everything. Let me say it again. It matches. <laughs> now, I lost my thought on fun, F you money, fun money. That's when all your bills are paid. That's when you got extra money and you're starting to stack it and you can be a blessing. All money does, oh, that's right. All money does is expose who you are. If you give, you give more. If you drink, you just bring, bring it better alcohol. <laughs> it just expose who you really are. If it's cheap and tight, you still be cheap and tight. It just magnifies, write that word down. It magnifies who you are. I could take out a mind fine glass and you start making money and I could put you under mind fine glass. I could tell who you really are, Mr. Daryl Ranson. Is he cheap? Is he tight? Is he a giver? Is he a helper? Is he a stealer? Or is he taking away? Or is he blessing people? All a mind fine glass, Miss Pat Robinson does to magnify who that person is. Oh, you said one thing, but boy, you look bigger in this mind fine glass. You're cheaper than I thought you were. All money does, write that down, is expose who you really are. Now, I hope y'all don't mind me talking about money. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to start talking. <laughs> See, that's why y'all, maybe if I talk about it more, maybe I'll start getting more of it. Mm -hmm. All right, so number one is survival. Number two, money. What is it, D.D. Sanders? What's number two? Say it to me real quick. They, uh, yeah, everyday money. All right, I'm sure you're paying attention. Mr. Corey, Mr. Corey Alexander Fresno. What's number three type of money? investment yeah see y'all invested in yourself you invested in yourself and you got watch this to 200 oh wait 224 dollars 
you got Mr. Julian Lewis, you got Miss Natasha Israel, you got Chris King, you got Miss Rose Guerrero, you got Miss Ingrid, you got Miss Taz, you got Mr. Marvin Carter, you got Miss Ismail, you got Miss Cohen. I mean, you got all these leaders. Look what you got, Mr. Ismail, for $224. Y'all don't even know what you guys got. Now, I hope you do. So they're invested back in every call we do is an investment in your future. You can't make nobody, look, only those who get on, I don't call people no get. I don't call them, nope, nope, nope. Because I know they'll fall off because they're not willing to invest in their future. And if you invest in your future, then you'll hit higher, higher levels and then it's fun money. Going down to the Bahamas uh, a year before last. And, and I'm telling you something, man, when they pay for everything, ain't nothing like it. All the cocktails, all, all, all the shrimp, all all, all the alcohol, whatever you want, they, they pay. See, you, why? Because James Brown say he, that you pay the cost to be the what? Boss. All right. So much for that one. Let me, 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 let me leave that alone. Okay. Now let's go back to our chart. Let's go back to our chart. So there's four kind of monies. So we're all crystal clear. All crystal clear. Survival, everyday money, investment money, and FU money. Fun unlimited. When I say that sometimes people are like, what are you talking about? I said, oh, let me, okay. Now. Let's go back to our chart. Let's go back to our chart. Let's, I kind of went off on a tangent there. So we got financial wealth. So, wow, Mr. Thomas, I got to raise myself up to level four. I'm already got, see all y'all at level three already. But if you work three harder, if you work really hard this year in, in the three, which is investment in your business, by helping people get qualified, no matter who they are, no matter what, everybody, if you invest back in your business, make sure everybody get qualified, get on these calls, get on the trainings, you'll have step four. See, step four is automatic. Oh my God. Step four, let me say that one more time, it's automatic. Step four is automatic. If you hit step three, step four is a breeze. It comes automatic. It's like it's like when you get promoted in the system and ACM back office automatically happens. You'll know it, you'll know what it happens. All right, all right, let me move on. Number two, social wealth. Status, social wealth. Now, I'm gonna talk about this in a different light. Social wealth, what happened uh, last, or oh, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, when on uh, um, January the 5th, I'm gonna talk about January the 5th, when Julian Lewis talked about the social media. He got down raw, he got down like Charlie, he, he brought it because there's wealth in the socialization of the internet. There's there's wealth there. Miss Natasha Ismail is another one who's I, I have it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm learning from them. Watch the, I'll be hey, 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 you gotta respect people. I told my son I'm gonna pay him a hundred dollars a week to teach me. Because I, I don't. I, I'm being honest with you. Miss Thomas, you did all that. You no, I don't, but I'm I'm learning because I'm ready to pivot. I gotta pivot. Either you don't pivot or you get lost. So social wealth. Is so powerful. I tell you another gangster in social wealth, Ms. Rose Guerrero. Shh. Woo! That lady is amazing. And when she gets on the call, sometimes I tell her, slow it down because she gives it so fast. Like she gives it out because she goes into depth and she researches it. And man, when she comes on this call, it's like brrr. so they're experts in something I know and I'm learning about. I'm learning. Yeah, I'm learning. Because schools, remember I said that earlier, schools never out for the profession. Remember I said that? Al Thomas is learning, baby. That's right. I ain't go look, my ego and pride ain't that big. I look, I look, I'm I, I'm humbled. I'm humbly saying I'm learning. And some of us need to get off our high horse and our high ego and humble yourself under the mighty hand. Number three, number three, time wealth. Time wealth. Time wealth. Time wealth. Time wealth. Time wealth. There's freedom. Time wealth. Time wealth. Time. See, some of you, Mr. Tim Carrard, my friend, I want to say God bless you. I appreciate you being honest about my time. It gets away from me. We talked about how to get it back. We talked about if you had not seen it, go back last Saturday. Was last Saturday? Hold on a second. Go back and watch my video. Yeah, yeah. Last Saturday. Oh God, yeah. Last Saturday, the night. The go night. back and go look back and look at. Go back go and look back. DNA of an SVP's DMO. Some of my leaders, I sent it out to some people that I really got, they, they, they had to see it again. 
I know Mr. Chris King had a, had a stomach ache and he wasn't feeling good. Oh, man, you can't miss this one. This whole, because I showed you how to get 13 months out of a year. Not 12 months like the average person, because y'all not average. I showed you how to get an extra month. Did he say extra month? Yes, an extra month out of a year. I told you last week, I told you it's going to be a different year than I've ever done before. God has put in my heart and my spirit. Boy, come out a little different. Love on them, but teach them. Go into depth. Go into stuff that you never talk about. Because I, I, I want to keep that private and personal. But he says, no, show it. Because they need it. They need it. Time, wealth. Let me give you time, wealth. When you have time, wealth, watch this. You can live anywhere, be anywhere, in you, anywhere in the world. Because our business does not have boundaries. Y'all about ready to find that out about me in the months to come. That's all I'm going to tell you. Lord, have mercy. I told you it's going to be a different year. Y'all, some of y'all can't move where I'm going. I'm serious, physically. Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. It's exciting. Maybe I teach a seminar on, on how to let stuff go. And then maybe, oh, that's a good one too. Anyway, time, wealth. I had a friend call, hey, I'm going so so. You want to go? Two weeks ago, I had a phone call. Two weeks ago, before Christmas. No, you're, no, you're. Hey, we're all going out to Mexico for a couple of days. You want to come? We got a villa. We rented out a half an island. I could go. Just for this situation, I had my my insurance guy called. Hey, man, let's go over to uh, over 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 to uh, uh um 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 Prague because I, I love Prague. I love the museum, especially the libraries. The libraries and gold. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Hey, let's go for two weeks. Where are we going to stay? I don't know. We'll stay here three days, there, four, a couple. All I'm going to do is take a bag on my shoulder, and we're going to bum around for two and a half weeks. Time management. Get my calls covered. All I have, look, look, watch this. All Al Thomas care about. My son's good. My daughter's good. Hey, my calls are covered. I'm ready to go, baby. That's time wealth. And now people are like going to work all the time. Now they say, oh, we can stay at home. Oh my God, I never knew. I, I didn't know I could work. <gasps> oh, and now they're getting a taste of freedom. Look at the word freedom. Freedom. Even though they're at home, it's still freedom because nobody's looking over their shoulders. No boss is watching them. They got they got to get on a certain call. They're off. The kids are in school on the internet, on Zoom. Now. Freedom. And they're going like the average person, like, oh, I may never go back to that job again. I can work for any, I can live it. Watch this. They can live anywhere now and still work if they choose to. That's called freedom, baby. That's freedom. Now the 95 percent is tasting just a wee bit of it. I don't have to live here. I can live out in Idaho where I really want to. I can live in Michigan. I can. I don't have to. I don't have to drive. I don't. I don't. But that's not time freedom. Let's start a little bit of freedom. Our freedom is like this. Ours is gangster freedom. <laughs> Woo! Lord have mercy. Time freedom. Time freedom. Man, I had the time to do whatever I want to do when I feel like doing it because I'm not hold down anywhere. I'm free to pick up and move. Wink, wink. I'm free to do a lot of things. What's holding you back from time freedom? A lot of us are held down by stuff that got chains on us, and we, there's no need for it. There's no need for it. And the fourth type of freedom is called physical wealth. That's your health, your health. See, it's so important. Without your health, everything else goes. You got to have health, physical wealth. Miss Natasha Ismail had a gym, came out of college, two degrees, did the best she could, dotted the I's, crossed the T's, and they closed her down. And she got fed up. It's like, you know what? I don't need this stuff. Saw ACN, told the husband they got started immediately. Because why? From a healthy person's perspective, she saw that health was going down. Well, her health is still great, but she flipped it into wealth like the, like the stoner. And she decided, look, this is great. And she still, I'll tell you what, she eats healthy. She eats good. Trust me, when I go to Fresno, I stay at her place. And that's a big place. I get lost in it with the dogs. They say, oh, I'll over here. Well, anyway, it's, <laughs> it's your health. Without health, nothing else matters. I've, I have met several people that, matter of fact, one of them I was on the phone with an hour ago, a couple of days. Actually, I was talking to Steve the other day. We talked the whole hour. I called him wishing happy birthday. He's still a young man, and his birthday, he just turned. 
hold on a second, because everything's my book. He just turned uh my beginner's mentor was Friday was Thursday, was was Friday the eighth. And Steve's birthday was oh, was on the 12th. He turned 76 years old and his health. He was actually, when I called him, he was in the hospital getting the, getting the transplant. I mean, uh, transfusion, excuse me. Uh, and then he has to go to Houston on Monday, which uh, 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 this coming Monday coming up for another transfusion. Now, Steve, we should call him Captain Fun. This guy went through a half a billion dollars. I'm going to tell you right now. And we were laughing. We were on the phone the other day for a whole hour talking about the good old days. We took his little two-seater plane, little 140, 152, from, from Texas all the way to California, Sacramento. It took us 11 hours for the two of us flying a little plane. We, we cracked up. We, I said, man, we were stupid. We're having too much fun. I mean, think about 11 hours on a little two-seater. And then he bought a jet, and then he bought a golf string. And then we talked about the time he bought his West Wing. It's a little Australia, it's a it's an Israeli plane. Sits real low. And we landed in Oregon and we landed next to Jimmy Buffkin's plane because he had the parrot on it, private jet. And he came out. Well, anyway, I can't tell you that story, but we we've had so much fun. Now look at his health. God bless him. His health. All the money, his health. Now he said, Man, I, I so I told him, I said, let me know. Uh, when you're going to be in Houston, maybe I'll fly down and hang out a couple of days. I'll call one of our buddies up. We'll go out and have cocktails and pour in a few drinks and just have some good old, to, for the good old days. We used to take his hill. Of, let me tell you something. We used to take, uh, we used to take his, uh, he had four ranches. He owned like 12, he used to own a city called Fatitas in, in Texas. We used to take, uh, I used to fly in, uh, uh, into Dallas and the helicopter land at the airport. Me and my family would jump on the helicopter to go out to the ranch. We land a ranch and he had a 3,000 acre ranch. One of the ranches was 7,000, one was 3,000. And we played liar's dice out there. And I remember one night we had so much, and when he bought bought liquor, he bought, he, he went buy a case of it. He bought like five cases because it's out to the ranch and put on a helicopter, sent it out there. Now, let me tell you something else that was funny. We were playing liar's dice one day, Mr. Jason Cummins. Chuck ran out of money and uh, it was a Friday afternoon about seven. I never forget it. He ran out of cash. He might have went through. I can't say on the, on the call, but he went through a lot. And we're playing on, we're playing large dice on the ping pong table out in, in, in one of the houses on the ranch. And he jumped on the helicopter. Listen to what I'm saying. He jumped on the helicopter, Mr. Sherman, went into town, the, then landed the helicopter in the bank parking lot. He went over to the ATM machine, got as much as he could out, got back on the helicopter, Pastor Thomas, and came back out to the game. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I can tell you all some stories, but I can't tell you, but I can't tell you, but you can read between the lines. I have been so blessed. I'm telling you, and I'm trying to tell you, if I can do it with no education, with no background, just a, a tenacity to work hard. What could you do? And I told you before, I'm not the sharpest, the handsome like Mr. Julian Lewis. I'm not as fast as Ms. Natasha Ismail. I'm not as good looking as Mr. Chris King or your beautiful lady. But I tell you one thing, I will flat out work you, Jack. I will flat out work you. I'll knock you down, chew you down, eat you. I'll, I'll flat out. See, that's what I, you can't, you outwork me. What, you'll be a senior vice president before this year's out. But anyway, let's go back. Let's go back. Physical, physical, physical. Now, here he is. I talked to him the other day for his birthday. We talked a whole hour. I said, what are you doing, man? Your girlfriend taking you out? No, nah, man, I'm in the hospital right now having a transfusion. I got to stay close to, to Texas. 76 years young. All that money. All that money. Steve Smith, XL Communication. Google him. You'll see what I'm talking about. He bought a town called Fajita. He's walking by. He's be the sheriff and the mayor. <laughs> How you own your own city, your own town? I mean, that's crazy. I could tell y'all some stories, but I have been blessed. And why am I saying all this? Because I want you to be blessed. Your health, your health is so important. Your health is always important. Your health is number one. Without your health, you can't get number one. You can't get financial wealth. Without your health, number four, you cannot get social wealth. Without your health, there's no time management. For the last, show, this may come to some y'all. Y'all, some y'all get this. The first shall be last, and the last shall be first. You got to have your health, Marie. You got to have. You got to take it. Why well, think I walk twice a day? You think I'm in love with walking? And then I was talking to Mr. Brian Baker. Why don't you do three a day? I'm like, hey, there's an idea. There's, hey, there's an idea. Why don't you do three a day? Man, I'm telling you. I go to my doctor for my annual. I go, I go annual every year. I, every six months, I go check in. You know, let them check the oil, look under the hood, make sure the oil's good, change the oil. <laughs> Man, he said, I don't know what you're doing, Al Thomas, but keep it up. Man, you are in good shape. 
Well, you know why? Because I'm out walking every day. I'm out talking. Look, some of y'all, and I ain't gonna say nothing, but some of y'all just, I'm telling you, you can't go where I'm going in 2021. Y'all gotta get it together. Some of you now can't walk up a flight of stairs without, <sighs> Lord, hold, hold on now, baby. Let me, let me, hold on, let me take a stop. Hold on now, hold on now, baby. Woo, but hey, give me a piece of that fried chicken over there. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all, I'll never forget this lady. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I'll never forget this lady. She's from Chicago, Julian Lewis. Her name was Pastor E.R. Allen. Oh my God, y'all, y'all go, I'm going deep, deep, deep tonight. And this pastor came to Oakland. I was uh, under Ernestine Cleveland rooms. We were down at the Marriott downtown on Broadway. And I can remember this, it was 30 some years ago. And she came out, she preached a sermon to this day, I've never forgot. And she talked about Christian's cocaine. I said, what? She says, yeah, y'all eat too much sugar, flour, and salt. That's what's killing y'all. And guess what I cut out of my diet? I said, wow, that's your health. It goes back to your health. And that's why people, I look around, people are just getting up there in age, their health is deteriorating because they're not eating right. They're not eating right. Man, my son said, dad, I'm going to start cooking. I almost fell off my chair. I'm going to cook healthy. Man, we go in there and we put together a smoothie every morning. We eat healthy stuff. You know why? Because my goal is I want to I want to not live all of y'all. I want to. I don't know if God's got his plan, but I want to. But you know what? I got to do. Watch this, watch this, Miss Eileen. You're going to love this, Miss Eileen. I'm doing my part. I ain't going to sit there and eat all this fattening food, greasy food, blocking my heart arteries. And man, I, I'm on Lord going to say, no, no, no. I got to do my part. I got to do my part. I got to do. You heard Julian Lewis talking about he's doing some kind of, he, he's doing a, uh, he's a, he's a, He's a, a part vegan or something, eating a vegan or even or something. But he, yeah, he's health. He's health. Hey man, I drop, I drop weight. I got muscle. Hey, I appreciate that because man, I'm telling you something. I've, I've dropped two, two belt, uh, belt size. But watch this. I dropped two belt size, and most people went up in size. <laughs> I'll say it again. I dropped two belt size, and most people went up in size. That's health, baby. That's health. Let me tell you something. I saw this article I shared the other day. It showed this guy and his wife. They would say, you know, we, we, we can leave now. We can leave out our, our quarantine. And they both ran to the door. It was, it was a Spanish. They both ran to the door and they tried to get to the, they both were trying to see who get to the door first. And then they got to the door and they said, wait, we can't, we're so big, we can't get out the door. <laughs> are you putting on, are you doing like Mr. Lewis and slimming down like myself and Miss Natasha Ismail? The question is, what are you eating? What are you doing? Health is so important. So I'm going to click one more thing on here. One more thing tonight. One more thing tonight. Because I love y'all, but I got one more thing to click on here. Now, be aware. Uh, Mr. Clemens, did you put that part? Be aware. There we go. Man, can we give Mr. Bree Clemens a hand? Let me tell you, that man is amazing. Be aware of jobs that lure you in with one and two. Money and status. But rob you of three and four they rob you of your time wealth and they rob you of your health and that's what jobs do to you they suck the life uh, out of you and when you turn 40 they trade you in for 220s because they're young dumb and don't know no difference they just got out of college they haven't had their first job and they kick you to the curb and then they give you a retirement check you can't even retire on so be careful be careful don't run after money don't run after social status go build your acm business Time, like I said, one and two will rob you. Will a job will lure you in and rob you, rob you, rob you. Thank you, Miss Ingram. Rob you. Three and four will bless you. Will think about time, wealth. I have time, wealth, physical wealth, health. Man, my health is great. My health is great. My health is great because Al Thomas. No, if I don't take care of me, nobody else will. Mr. Bree Clemens, and I'm, him and I, we have to stay. He goes to the gym. Hey, man, how many you do today? Right? See, he's my, he don't know. He's my, he's my accountability partner. Because when he called me, I've already done mine. He's on his second one. I said, okay, I got you. But see, that's constructive. Why don't you guys pick a partner to have a health, keep in check on health, or check your own wealth, check your own your social status, check your own your financial. Because I'm going to go deep. Now, next week, next week, everybody look at me now. Everybody look at me. Everybody look at me. Next week, I'm going to do a part two to this. I'm going to talk a lot about wealth. And you, you can put whatever you want on it. You can be call it money, whatever you want. But wealth, I'm going to talk about the four. Hmm. Next week. Now, I better not tell you a lot because Mr. Clemens will cut me off. I'm going to say next week is going to be part two. I'm going to give it just a hint, maybe. Stage of your money journey. Stage of your, well, let's get on the next week. I got part two. I had to warm you up. I couldn't give it all to you in one time. 
It's a lot to take in. And some of you got to go back and regurgitate. Some of you need to look at this over and over and over again. Because see, when I get to talking real quick this year, by June or July, some of y'all are going to get left behind, maybe before the end, because I'm going to talk about a lot of stuff in depth that I never done before, my, never done for this group. So if, if, if money scares you, talking about wealth and prosperity, mm, because you got to have it, you got to have it. And I'm, I'm, I'm sick of seeing some of y'all not having it, and you should have it. All of us should have it. See, that's right, Mr. Work will kill you, but stress, <laughs> you know what? Let me say this in closing. I, I, write this down. You, you almost had it right. Mr. Look, work, let me say this. Work will never kill you. ACN, work in ACN will never kill you. Stress on a job to be broke will kill you. Work, <laughs> your ACN business will never kill you but stress from your job will kill you. <clears throat> they don't give a rat's back in about you. I don't care if you work for the IRS, CIA, SBI, BIB, with all these, all these alphabet soup names. <laughs> as soon as you go, do you realize they clean your desk out and they go through human research and they got somebody there by tomorrow morning? Five interviews. You mean nothing to them. Now, let me say this in love. Your job is have a, have, have a check coming in from that job. I get that. It's your job to get you wealthier. Give an example. I asked a guy today, so what business are you in? Man, I work for Black. I said, no, 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 no. That's who you work for. What business are you in? See, most people don't understand that. They want to tell you their profession. Your ideas, right, Ms. Collins, or your employee number. I've only had a job once my whole life for nine months. And I said, the devil is a lie. This is crazy. I'm just saying, let me be nice. Let me be nice. It wasn't for me. I said, there's got to be a better way. And I saw it, what you guys have tonight. And when I saw this, I said, Lord, this is the answer to prayer. You mean to tell me. The playing field is, look at me, the playing field is level. They don't care if I'm from Yale or from jail, black, white, no teeth, pop belly, ball head, five foot two. They don't care. All they care about is me getting customers and put them in the system and they send me money back. Are you serious? And I said to myself, this is what I said when I got my first number. I said, I need to get as much of this as I can before these jokers catch on that this is easy, this is easy picking. That's see, that was my mindset. That's why I was number two in my previous company for many, many years. And then I dropped down to number three. Let me tell you why I dropped down to number three, because I started enjoying the better things that I've worked hard for, as you should. But I kept saying, man, these boys may run out of money. My job is get as much as they, they got. See, see, I want y'all to see what I see. AC is saying, look, all these bonuses this month, your job's just like, let, let me get all this money for these boys run out. See, I look at life differently. Let me get as much as I can before they change their mind. I was fired up. In closing, survival money, everyday money, investor money, F U unlimited, <laughs> unlimited, fun unlimited money. I gotta get y'all there. And don't just write this down and close it. Go back after we get off the call, regurgitate it, pot, pat, sit back and ponder it. Go back and get the video when it's posted. Go back and look at it again and get it in your spirit and just take notes on it again because I am going to be moving to newer heights in 2021. And I hope and pray some of y'all be with me because I am going to talk about a lot of stuff. I never, I never talked about money before. I never talked about wealth principles before. I've talked about a lot of things, but I'm gonna really get in the depth on stuff. I'm gonna tell you something, Christmas, Christmas one year we were flying, we're doing, we're wrapping up the, our meeting in Excel communication. We flew the private, the Gulf Stream down and we'd landed and, um, there was two sitting there side by side. I said, my God, what a vulgar display of wealth. And it was a guard on each corner. 
And I said, whose is that? I got out to talk to the guard. It was the president of Mexico's wife. She was down there on a shopping spree for Christmas. One plane was for her and her girlfriends. And the other plane was all their gifts to take back to Mexico. And I said this, Miss Mar Marcia Carter, what a vulgar display of wealth. But then again, how many of you have experienced things like that? My goal this year is bring you to where I'm at and not let you take, come on, we can do it. We can do it. Well, listen, I want to thank everybody on the call tonight. I hope you guys got a blessing out of this leadership call. Tomorrow night, thank you, Miss Miss Christina. Thank you so much. Tomorrow night, Mr. and Mrs. King are going to go into the depth of how to taproot. Taproot, 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 taproot. Because I, I he, he did a great demonstration, but we're gonna he's gonna go into depth. The two of them, when them two get together, especially when she says something, look out, it, it's it's man, it's gospel. So trust me, get ready tomorrow night with your pens. And I'd say get ready to take the video because if she start talking, it's gonna come at you a little fast. And I know I can't write that fast. Cause look, I look, I'm a little slow. Look, I know I'm slow. Oh, your daughter wants to say thank you, Mr. Tim Carr. Okay, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. How are you doing? Bye. How are you doing tonight? Thank you so much for being with your daddy. He's a great guy. All right. Thank you. You guys be blessed. All right. God bless everybody. Thank you so much. We'll see everybody tomorrow night at six o'clock for the leader uh, for the training, product training on how to tap root with the Kings. God bless you. Be